In our today's video, we are going to discuss phonetics and phonology part 1. In our today's part, we will discuss how many consonants are there and what is their place of articulation. There are different places of articulation known as bilabial, dental, alveolar, velar, postalveolar, labiodental, and glottal. We will discuss all of them in detail along with the examples. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe Laima's English Corner for further English grammatical and educational videos. Now let's move to whatever video and we will see how many consonants are there and what is consonant. We will start with the basic definition of consonant. There are two different types of sounds in English phonetics and phonology. One is consonant and the other is vowel. Today, we are going to see the consonants. So, consonants are the speech sound produced by obstructing the airflow at one or more positions in the vocal tract using the tongue, lip, teeth or palate. It means that when we are producing consonant sound, so there is some sort of blockage in our vocal tract. So, blockage can be by tongue, by lips, by teeth or by any palate. In English phonetics and phonology, there are 44 sounds. In those 44 sounds, 24 sounds are the consonant sounds. And the remaining 20 sounds are the vowel sound. So, today we will discuss first 24 sounds and their place of articulation. And in the next video, we will see their manner of articulation too. We are starting, but before that, let's see the key features of consonant sound. Sometimes in MCQs, there are some sort of questions like consonants are voiced or voiceless. So the answer is, they are both voiced and voiceless. Number two, the complete or partial obstruction. The obstruction can be complete there can be complete blockage and the obstruction can be partial, mean some sort of obstruction is there. Now, we are going to see the different places of articulation. First place of articulation is the bilabial sounds. Bi mean to and labial mean lips. It means that these sounds are produced when we join two lips together. When our two lips are joined together and produce a sound, this is known as bilabial sound. For example, pa, ba, ma. When we produce these three sounds, we are joining our two lips together. Without joining two lips together, we can't produce these sound. Second is labiodental. Now, labio mean lips and dental mean teeth. It means that lips and teeth have combination in production of this sound. So, this is produced by touching the bottom lip to the upper teeth. When the bottom lip touches the upper teeth, labio dental sounds are produced. For example, f, f, v, v. In these sounds, our bottom lip is touching to the upper teeth. Third type is dental sound. Now, dental mean teeth, it means total teeth are involved in the production of the sound. So, the definition is produced by placing the tongue against the upper teeth. Now, when our tongue tip touches the upper teeth, it means the sound is dental sound. For example, Th. Now, tip of the tongue is touching the upper teeth. Th. Thin. The. This. So, the and th are two sounds which are dental sounds. Fourth is alveolar sound. Now, what are alveolar sound? Alveolar sounds are produced whenever tongue touches the alveolar ridge which is just behind the upper teeth. So, the area which is just behind our upper teeth is known as alveolar sound. Your concept will be even more clear by the examples. For example, T, D, N, S, 
z la so these are the sounds which are produced when our tongue is touching the alveolar ridge fifth is post alveolar sounds so post mean before that so when the sounds are produced from the area which is behind the alveolar area so these are known as post alveolar sounds so the definition is produced by placing the tongue just behind the alveolar ridge whenever tongue is just behind the alveolar ridge sounds produced are known as post alveolar sounds for example sh sh ship y y mayor mayor so here our tongue is touching the area which is just behind the alveolar ridge sixth is palatal sound now what are palatal sounds palatal sounds are produced by raising the body of the tongue towards the hard palate whenever body of the tongue is raised towards the hard palate these are known as the palatal sounds now we will see some examples to make your concept even more clear for example yes y sound now y sound is denoted by j in english so this is basically y yes yes so there is only one palatal sound seventh is velar sounds now what are velar sounds velar sounds are the sounds which are produced by raising the back of the tongue now what we have to do we have to raise back of the tongue to the soft palate or it is known as velum so whenever back of the tongue touches the soft palate or the velum this is known as the velar sounds for example k g ing no k and g are the sounds which are very clear to you but this sound ing or you can say in different examples like sing like king so at the end the ing sound is known as the velar sound eighth sound and the last is glottal sounds now glottal sounds are the sounds which are produced using the space between the vocal cords now the space between the vocal cords from the sound we are producing from there is known as the glottal sound so there is only one glottal sound which is h house h so i hope you are very clear with the concept of the consonant and the place of articulation so thanks for watching my video so in our next videos we will discuss the manner of articulation and vowels and their types so please subscribe my channel laibas english corner for further english literature linguistic and other informative videos